There's uniforms out there. Let's hunt them down. Yeah, yeah. Wee What's up, bros? <laughs> uh, a new commentary after a very, 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 very long time. I just had a Red Bull, so I'm fucking hype right now. Let me just set up what's happening in this one. Of course, it is a walking you through my playstyle, and I'm gonna be a shotgun scrub in this one. I'll tell you why I'm using a shotgun in a bit, but uh, let me just set up what happened. First of all, I haven't played Supplied in forever. You guys know that I'm pretty much in. Look at that headshot, though, bruh. So, first of all, yeah, I haven't played Supplied in forever. I love interrogation. I just love keep, you know, keeping on killing people as opposed to having a maximum of 24 downs or 24 executions or whatever it is. I do not enjoy that. So, uh, one of my friends, actually, one of my subscribers, our friend, uh, posted a picture of the request in the video itself. <clears throat> he requested if I could actually play a few Supplied in games. And, um, you know, just he just wanted to see me play and how, how I play the supplier and he hasn't seen me play a supplier in a very long time. By the way, that's fucking OP, man. I mean, like, that is actually OP in the literal and true sense. Um, I'm, I'm not, like, kidding around. One one hunting rifle shot and one body shot with the revolver? Who, who even thought that's a good idea? I, why? Why, why, why? So, anyways, <clears throat> so I'm playing supplier. I'll even set up why I'm playing supplier. I was playing a supplier with uh, some of my friends. Um, now, I, again, not my very close friends, but whatever. I'm fucking pissed off at them. I went 13 and 5, 13 downs. I got only 5 or 4 executions uh, against not such a good team. Uh, and these guys, they gave up everything on the map. Like, they, towards the end, I was like, you know what? I don't even care if you down anyone. Once I down someone, just take the execution. Just finish off the guy that's down on the ground. So that I can move on to the next guy, so that these guys cannot actually get the revive points. Uh, some of them are rocking revive two and three, so that these guys don't get the revive points and you know bite us in the ass. So why don't you just fucking don't down anyone? Just kill these guys that are already down. And they couldn't even do that much, and we fucking lost a game that we won. Now I don't want to go back into that shit. They played like fucking trash, and as opposed to being uh, angry at my uh, quote unquote friends and you know screaming at them. I just wanted to get into supplier aid going solo because when I get in solo uh, into supplier aid, all I think about is, or even into, into interrogation, like, just in gaming, what I think about, I'm not even kidding, is everyone around me is fucking retarded. They are fucking brainless. They cannot hold the controller right. In fact, my dog probably has a better right, IQ or higher IQ than them. That's how I start playing supplier aid, interrogation, Call of Duty, Destiny, whatever the fuck I'm playing. So that, this way I don't need to be pissed off at anyone and, you know, be conscious myself. about what I'm telling my friends and, you know, that, 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 that maybe I can't um, scream at them or whatever it is and, you know, I'll basically not hurt feelings. <clears throat> but uh, those guys pissed me off so I started playing supplier. So we're at 16 and 16 right now is going 3 versus 4. I'm playing with the hunting rifle. I'm playing without sharpshooter on. I do have covert 2. Let me uh, tell you the loadout where it is. It's a uh, covert 2. It's executioner 1. I believe it's fortitude 1 and it's first day training 1. Uh, if you need to be alone and you need to basically one of the best boosters is first try training one so you, I, I have that in pretty much every single one of my loadouts I'm not used to playing with the hunting rifle without sharpshooter which is why you'll be able to see me miss like a fucking crap ton of shots I miss so many easy shots that you see me take all the time like even they surprise me as well um, but I just uh, the thing with the hunting rifle is you don't need to upgrade it too much like even if you don't upgrade to level one that's fine if you upgrade to level one it's excellent and uh, you do have that thing about getting the one shot headshot down. So, you know, it's kind of useful. You get one headshot and you get 100 plus parts for, just for that. Um, so I, I like that bit about the hunting rifle. So it, it helps me stack up points for the shotgun. Now, the reason why I'm being a shotgun scrub is simply because um, I think you guys know my friend Al Pacino. He plays, with, he plays almost exclusively with the shotgun and brawler. And we all know it's a scrub loadout and newbie loadout. And he tells it himself. But... Um, it's just, I just wanted to play it once, and uh, I just played it for like the first time ever, like in a year or something. I played with the shotgun with the semi or something. It was so easy, especially in supplier aid. Like, someone pops up in front of you, you just have to look at them. You don't even have to aim. You look, and you press R1, and the person is down. It's almost, like, it's something like the burst rifle, only the ammo is quite a lot more expensive. So, nice double bomb. <clears throat> Running around, I don't have, oh, I do have all of my first three packs. By the way... I'm just gonna mention once again, <clears throat> uh, how I started off this game is the same way I started off any other game. You pick up first eight packs. Now I'm trying. I was trying to bait this guy. Look at my bow teammate, bowman teammate, uh, using that shotgun like a fucking noob. So look at that guy who just uh, saved me from that down guy, the dead body guy. I mean, I do need teammates like this that they can actually protect me from guys that are already down on the ground and do absolutely nothing else. So I get another down, and uh, <laughs> I was so quick, and uh, I quickly took the execution by using the one inch stick because. I don't want him to steal another one of my kills. Um, I do need all the parts that I can get for my shotgun. 
so I'm rocking I have about 790 parts um, now another thing right, how I suggest using purchasable weapons would be don't just like if you get like a thousand parts don't just go on the ammo button and, and start mashing it to get as much ammo as you can just get enough ammo as much as you can use for example right now three is more than good enough maybe even two is fine I mean if I could have only two that even that would be fine and I could then uh, upgrade my revolver by level one and my my hunting rifle by level one that way I have every single one of my guns and I have them all decently upgraded in order to be able to perform by themselves so just because you're playing purchasable does not mean that you should just spam the ammo purchase button with the purchasable because at the towards the end of the game uh, you might notice that you might not even have used all of your purchasable ammo <clears throat> so I do have the revolver level one upgrade that's a bare minimum that I need because otherwise the rate of fire with the revolver is way too slow so I'm just you know crouch walking around the map uh, since I play that much of interrogation I I actually use Marathon Runner 1 as a bare minimum on interrogation just to run from one spawn to the other. But um, supply rate is exactly the opposite. You cannot sprint at all. Look at me crouch walking and just walking and look at this idiot dab stabbers just running right right on me basically and giving away my position on the map. So it's not I'm not I'm not being mean when I say that people are fucking retarded. It's just the truth. And you might think about it being mean or whatever, but just, just, just walk. Th I mean, just watch this play through. Just watch the way that people play in this match and then match after this one. Both the match, this exact match and the match exactly after this one, are both absolutely fantastic. And um, I think I'm versing a guy by the name of Jahani Jawani or something of that sort. But uh, he is a level 94, a level 94 on the Last of Us rematch. Okay, so I see this guy. He's he's pretty close to us. So I. I, I don't know why I kind of went for the revolver, but um, I, I maybe uh, it was a bit too far with the shotgun. I don't really use the shotgun as much, so I don't know what the length is. But but uh, this is a genuine question. Have they actually buffed the shotgun? Because it seems to down people from insane ranges. Look at me miss that freaking montage moment. And look at him miss all of the spectre bullets. So I down him and I make sure to heal myself first before I do absolutely anything else. I can still see him coming in. I thought he was actually coming up, so I'm trying to find him. But he, uh, like, I was at this point, I was really scared. Ooh, nice miss, bro, Javani. Jah Javani. That's your, that's your name. Okay. So I am at less than 20% health, and I have zero health packs. I have to rush towards the box in order to get the uh, first aid pack. Now, how many shotgun bullets do I have? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe one. I think. I think I have one shotgun. Bullet. No, I'm not sure. So I'm still checking. <clears throat> Check out this pro level freaking no scope phase moment uh, headshot that I get on this guy. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look, look, look at that. Did you see that? I'm pretty sure fucking phase is jelly of my skills. <laughs> look at look at this. Oh my god, dude! Freaking optic should actually fucking get me. I mean, they should fucking buy me. Look at that smoke bomb. Like, can there be anyone more pro than me? I, I don't think so. I, I mean, I don't think so. I think I've, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's so, go. anyways, uh, I get three more shotgun shells. I, as you can see right now, I have zero med packs. So, that's something that's going on in my mind. I need to pick up med packs as soon as possible. Now, I did down that guy. I'm pretty sure he did not die. That means he did get picked up, of course. <clears throat> so, I'm looking. I'm just, I can hear a bow. Um, the one thing with the bow is you just never know where they're shooting from. So, yeah, I know that there's two guys at, in, right in the middle of the map. Uh, I have to circle around them and try and get to as many med packs as I can. <clears throat> so it is exactly the same score. It's 7 and 7. I haven't been tracking the score per se. I do remember watching it at 16, 16 and now back at 8, 8 and 7, 7. So I don't know if I've been giving us the lead and they're losing it or not. I really haven't been tracking that. <clears throat> as you can notice, I still haven't upgraded my uh, hunting rifle by even level 1. I think I might be able to do it after this or I might not even do it in the entire game. It depends on... How the game goes like for example bus depot there are very few situations where you can actually use the hunting rifle across the map besides that you really like the shotgun is actually a lot more useful and the revolver is a lot more useful so i think these are the two things that i'm going for now i don't want to be really close to anyone because <clears throat> uh since we're seven and seven everyone on their team and even our team uh they're going to be having a lot of bombs and mollies so like for example i can actually craft a molly but i just never do that because it takes no skill to throw it and um, I just that that's not really something that I look forward to that I get into a game and like you know what like if you have a purchasable weapon you actually look forward to getting into the game and buying purchasable ammo and then using it you don't really look forward to wow I'm gonna get molly material and I'm actually gonna create a molly and then I'm gonna throw it at one person and get one kill yeah, it's pretty lame so 
Still, I'm just I'm still trying to search for them. I don't know how many med packs I have. I think I might have two because there's one up here and I picked up one uh, below me on the right hand side. So it's seven and five. I'm still trying to hunt for these guys. I see one guy behind me. He's upstairs. Look at that. He's throwing another molly. So I'm gonna try and run in and try and help him out. But I think I think my teammate actually finished him off. I see one of this, these guys on the other side go down. I see his. Uh, the red signal um, indicating that he is down there, so I'm gonna try and look for him. Look at this headshot again, like a fucking pro MLG. Thank God I actually got one. Thank God I actually was able to finish him out. Holy shit! It's 19 on 7 x I see another guy coming in. Do I get that? Okay, I didn't get the headshot, but at least I was able to. Look at him stealing my kill. What a. The bow guy, I think the bow is like the best ever weapon. It, I think it's been created by the Naughty Dog developer just, right just so that they can steal your kills. Okay, no headshot, but um, I still get one of them. I downed him. The guy who stole my kill is dead, so uh, I don't really care about that him that much. <clears throat> Again, I've racked up enough parts for even more shotgun ammo. I don't think that I'm going to be buying more shotgun ammo though, uh, or am I? I'm, I'm really not sure what I'm going to be doing. See now, five bullets and the revolver is pretty less, and I'm not getting enough pickups for revolver ammo, so I might actually even buy the revolver ammo. I don't remember what I do. I did play this game today morning, as a matter of fact, but I just don't remember what I did. But I do remember this match was freaking awesome, and the score towards the end is it's absolutely unbelievable. So still searching for these guys. They're still not in sudden death, which means I'm safe to move around. I see a bomb. Um, I've had this stupid shit happen to me before that when you blow a bomb up, like you can look and aim at the bomb and it, it still fucking hurts you. So I, I kind of use this trick about not even wasting any more ammo. I just move across it. Uh, there is a box below me. I don't know if there's anyone around here or not, but um, I'm not going to be shooting my hunting rifle just to get more ammo because I'm all alone on this side of the map. I, I cannot give up my position on this side of the map. So I hear the specter in front of me. Let's see what's happening though. Let us see. Okay, I see him. I get the decent shot on him. So now he's like one semi-auto bullet or one revolver bullet. Uh, we're actually losing the game. Wow, I just noticed that. I did not know that we were going to lose this game. But here's the thing. When you actually think that everyone around you is a fucking moron, you can't really be disappointed. All right, good to go. You know, see, that's exactly what I did. I actually did buy revolver ammo because uh, five is way too less if you want to kill anyone. So um, I'm like at this point, I'm not really shocked. I'm not scared or anything like I'm, I'm, I'm expecting the worst like these guys are not going to be able to do absolutely anything so i know that it's all on me and then i need to um basically win the game or whatever do the best that i can <clears throat> so i see this guy i i can make by you know i can make out by where he's moving where he's coming in hello Uniform down. say hello to my little Uniform friend dead. how'd you like that fucking nail board to your fucking dead body uh, I got that. Oh, I got the uh, hunting rifle ammo. So now we're both in sudden death. Um, I did. Okay, definitely see one guy. I thought I saw two. I saw two dots on that side. I do believe that I see two dots on that side. I'm still not sure. Yeah, yeah there are definitely two dots. So the one guy is like pretty much just below me. I'm still looking. I do have the shotgun, so I'm I'm pretty safe. Like he really can't do anything much to me. Oh yeah! <laughs> shotgun to the face. Um, a nice and easy kill. I think I do have enough parts for. Oh, I don't have parts of the shotgun. Fuck me. Fuck my life. Uh, let's see what our teammates can do. Do they actually kill anyone? Um, I don't know. Oh, they actually did kill two of those guys. That's pretty good. That is pretty impressive. So right now it's three versus one. I, I know that this guy's on the right side. Like I can see the blinking dot on that side. And I also know that he can see me because like we're both in sudden death. So I finally do upgrade my uh, hunting rifle There was since there was nothing else I could do. I, I should have bought... Ooh, 169. That's pretty good. I should have bought 180 parts worth of revolver ammo. I didn't do that. Now, since I am walking into my place, let's blunder I mean, I can see Jahab, Jawani or whoever he is on my screen. Armor is gone. He's going to be going back in again. Uh, pretty much everyone on our team can see him. I, I'm like, it, it's pretty clear that every single person on our team can see him. How did how did that guy go down on that side of the map when there's no one left alive? Like, he just he literally just walked over a bomb. That's all he did. So I'm looking for him. I'm still thinking he's down here. Now look at this guy. He oh that did surprise me. I just remembered that that actually did surprise me. I didn't even know he was there. So anyways, that was a decent game. Look at Jawani at 96, 35, 20. They're pretty high levels. They're not low levels in any, you know, situation or whatever it is. Uh, we did get down to uh, sudden death. So the guys on the opposite team, even the level two was decent enough. I hope you enjoyed this one. There's a, another fantastic game that I'm going to be commenting about. And I'll see you in the next one.